I'll be from the highest mountain I'll still be working I've got an Intel In the M5 processor And I can work for you I am tough enough Tougher than a motherfucker And I can take some abuse Hey yeah! I am made real tough Cause I'm a Dura fucking book And I am tough enough for you I got 8 gigabytes of RAM A 15 inch major screen And I am kicking ass, it's true come to the market at about 300 bucks that might be expensive for some but I'm going to kick ass on you so welcome to today's unboxing of this product it's a new Dura book and I think we're gonna just move in now Hey, what's up? How you guys doing out there? Hope you guys liked our little funny country western song. I seriously hope you don't fucking think we're trying to be serious, because, like, we're not. We know it sucks. You can say it sucks. But, hey, that said, this product doesn't suck. It's a Durabook. And it's born to be rugged. That's right, it is. This thing actually is made to be rugged. That's what a Durabook's all about. This is a 15-inch laptop. It's going to come to the market about $1,500. A lot of people are going to say, holy frickin' mother of God, that's a lot of money. But for something like this, it's not, because basically this thing really is made to be smacked around, dropped around. Over on motherboards.org last year, I took one of these things. I actually poured a whole thing of water on it, kicked it, hammered it, smacked it around, it still kept going. So if you're one of those people who takes your laptop everywhere you go and the integrity of information is important, this product is really pretty cool for you. Let's talk about some specs. So the model number is the S15 C2 FHD. CPU speed says CI5 2660 with 560M graphics. Memory, eight gigabytes of DDR3 at 1333 megahertz. The HDD is an ST500 gigabyte. The display is a 15.6 WXGA. Keyboard says US. It features an ion battery, a super multi-reader. It has Windows 7 Pro, and that's about it. All right, so basically, since this is a laptop, I'm gonna do the unboxing in my damn laptop. So, right off the bat, there's a little tab right here. Just gonna pop this little tab right here. Pop pops open. You guys can see inside. So here we can see what's inside the box. There's actually a couple different things in here. There's one box right here. I'll go ahead and take that out. We'll see what's in it in a second here. I'm gonna go ahead and just set that off to the side. We'll go ahead and pull the unit out itself. All right, once again, you guys, for sound effects is I try not to hit the microphone because they really hate it when I hit the microphone, those camera guys do. For sound effects, here we go. Sound effects, no! You guys know I love that shit. Anyways, check it out. Dura book. Hey. <laughs> All right. So here it is. This is the Dura book. I'm throwing things at the cameraman. Um, please don't call the working abuse force. You know, the, the don't be mean to cameraman thing. They might get me. You know what I'm saying? So here's the box. You got the power cable right here. Voila. One powder cable. This is the other side of the power cable. This is the one that plugs into that little brick and then plugs into the wall. And then we've got one battery. We're going to pull that little battery out of there. Their little lithium ion battery. Lithium iron. Sounds like a superhero. All right, here's the battery. All nice and interesting. Wow, isn't that cool? It's a battery. All right, so that's basically the stuff that came in the box. A little tab here in the back. A little plastic wraps here. I think we're in business now. Yes, we are. So let's remove it out and get the camera to zoom over here. And this is the first shot of it. So here we take a look at the front of it. So exciting! So exciting. I mean, not that exciting, but it's exciting, right? In the back, here we can see the battery compartment. I'll go ahead and put the battery in now since we got it here. We're going to insert the battery and unlike sex you don't need any lubrication for this operation you just stick it on in there and good to go 
Simple, easy, breezy, baby. All right. Pop open the top here. Ba-boom. So now let's just take a look at the laptop since we have it out. We'll just start up up here at the top. Here's the thing where it closes down. There's a little pad right here so it doesn't damage your keyboard. Here's a 15-inch monitor. Speaker here. Speaker here. You guys can see the power on and the reset button right there. Final assembly in the USA. Pretty cool. All right, we'll jump back over here, begin with the keyboard. Basic keyboard design, just like most of the ones you've seen out there. Get down to the little trackpad. This is all touch sensitive. There's also a track up and down button right here, as well as your other key functions right here. So now we've seen this part of the laptop. Let's take a look at the side. Go ahead and see what the side features are. Got an external VGA right here. The power's here. Two USB ports. Got your headphones, your microphone, card readers. Let's flip it around. Take a look at the other side. So now let's take a look at the final side. We've got a couple different COM ports right here. Got another USB port. And obviously we have the DVD player right here. Up here, there are some additional ports right here. These are for your phone jacks in case you want to hook up to the internet and all that good stuff. You've also got a standard phone jack here, so if you've got that old school shit, you're still in business. Let's pop that back on there. So that's basically it, folks. I mean, this is a Dura book. The main focus about these things, the main thing about these laptops and the reason that they're so expensive is that they're very, very tough. Um, I went through all kinds of crazy shit last time with mine. I'm not going to do that this time because I don't want to break the laptop. I actually want to keep it and use it for a little while. But this is why it's so expensive. It's got good parts. It's very durable. It's built very nicely. It's just pricey. That said, this is the unboxing. I'll get some performance testing and see how this thing actually does in real-world performance, and we'll get back to you. See you later.